have you ever wondered which is the most perfect country on the planet? It's a question that invites a cascade of thoughts, doesn't it? The concept of perfection can be quite elusive, especially when it comes to countries. After all, what makes a country perfect? Is it the breathtaking landscapes that inspire awe and wonder? Or perhaps it's the political stability that ensures a peaceful life for its citizens. Maybe it's a high standard of living where every individual thrives and enjoys the fruits of their labor. If you're looking for a place that ticks all these boxes, then allow me to introduce you to a remarkable contender, Switzerland. Nestled in the heart of Europe, this small yet influential nation is often considered synonymous with perfection. Switzerland, with its scenic landscapes, is a feast for the eyes. Imagine rolling meadows dotted with charming chalets, majestic mountains that touch the sky, and serene lakes reflecting the beauty of it all. It's like stepping into a picturesque postcard, where each frame is more enchanting than the last. But the allure of Switzerland extends beyond its natural beauty. The country is a beacon of political stability in a world that often seems turbulent. With a political system that values consensus and direct democracy, Switzerland stands as a testament to the power of cooperation and mutual respect. And then there's the high standard of living. Switzerland is known for its excellent health care, world-class education, and a robust economy. The Swiss devotion to quality and precision is visible in everything they do, from the watches they craft to the public services they provide. But what makes Switzerland truly perfect is the balance it strikes. A balance between tradition and innovation, between nature and urban landscapes, between individuality and community. It's a place where you can ski down the Alps in the morning and attend a cutting edge tech conference in the afternoon. So let's embark on a journey to the heart of Europe and unravel the secret behind Switzerland's journey to perfection. Imagine a country where every turn unfolds a scene straight out of a storybook. Welcome to Switzerland, a kaleidoscope of natural beauty where the grandeur of the iconic Alps is mirrored in serene lakes and lush meadows dance under the endless sky. Here, the landscape doesn't just change with the seasons, it transforms, offering a new vista to marvel at with each passing moment. Picture this, towering mountains cloaked in blankets of snow, their peaks piercing the heavens. As the seasons change, these icy giants yield to verdant pastures, where the air is so fresh, you can taste the sweetness of nature on your tongue. These are the Swiss Alps, a testament to nature's majesty and a playground for those daring enough to explore their snowy slopes or verdant valleys. And then there are the lakes, oh so many lakes, each one a mirror reflecting the beauty of the world around. From the tranquil shores of Lake Geneva to the azure waters of Lake Lucerne, these bodies of water are where the Alps descend to kiss the lowlands creating a harmony of landscapes that's as soothing as it is awe-inspiring. But Switzerland's beauty isn't just about what you see, it's about what you feel. It's the cool breeze that whispers through the alpine forests, the gentle rustle of leaves underfoot as you stroll through a meadow, the hushed lullaby of a stream carving its way through a valley. It's a sensory symphony that sings of the country's commitment to preserving its environment. Indeed, Switzerland's breathtaking scenery is as much a product of nature's whims as it is of the country's dedication to conservation. From the pristine wilderness of its national parks to the well-trodden trails of its countryside, every inch of the land is cared for, protected, and cherished. In Switzerland, the splendid panorama isn't just a feast for your eyes, but a testament to the country's respect for nature. In the world of politics, Switzerland stands out as a striking anomaly. While most countries operate under a representative democracy where citizens elect officials to make decisions on their behalf, Switzerland thrives on a system known as direct democracy. This means that Swiss citizens have the power to influence policy decisions directly. But what makes Switzerland's political system truly unique is its culture of consensus. This isn't just about majority rule, Instead of simply striving for a majority, the Swiss aim to reach decisions that as many people as possible can support. This consensus-driven approach extends beyond politics, permeating the fabric of Swiss society. So how does this work in practice? Well, 
Swiss citizens have the right to challenge any law passed by parliament. If a citizen can gather 50,000 signatures within 100 days, a national vote is held. It's a testament to the Swiss belief in the power of collective decision-making. This culture of consensus also fosters a remarkable level of political stability. There's no single ruling party in Switzerland. Instead, the seven-member federal council, which serves as the nation's collective head of state, represents a wide array of political parties. This ensures a diversity of views are represented and decisions are made in the best interest of all citizens, not just a select few. But the benefits of this consensus culture don't stop at political stability. It also contributes to Switzerland's high standard of living. When decisions are made collectively, with the goal of achieving the broadest possible agreement, it's much more likely that the needs and interests of all citizens will be taken into account. This has led to policies that promote economic equality, environmental sustainability, and excellent public services. In essence, Switzerland's direct democracy and culture of consensus have created a society where everyone's voice matters. It's a system that encourages cooperation, fosters mutual respect, and ultimately contributes to the country's prosperity. In Switzerland, democracy isn't just a political system, but a way of life that fosters harmony and prosperity. What does it mean to live a good life? In Switzerland, they seem to have found the answer. In this picturesque nation nestled in the heart of Europe, a good life is about more than just stunning landscapes or cultural riches. It's about the quality of life that every Swiss citizen enjoys. And when it comes to quality, the Swiss don't compromise. Let's talk about education, for instance. In Switzerland, education isn't just a privilege, it's a right. With a robust and diverse education system, Swiss children are encouraged to explore their interests, be it in the sciences, the arts, or vocational skills. The commitment to quality education is reflected in their consistently high rankings in global education indexes. Now let's move on to healthcare. The Swiss healthcare system is one of the best in the world, ensuring access to high quality medical care for all. It's a system that prioritizes the needs of the individual with a focus on preventative care and patient autonomy. Whether you're in the bustling city of Zurich or the quiet town of Interlaken, you can be assured of top-notch medical attention. And then there's the work-life balance. In Switzerland, work isn't just about earning a paycheck. It's about contributing to society. The Swiss understand the importance of a balanced life, and it shows. With flexible working hours, generous vacation policies, and a strong emphasis on family time, the Swiss have mastered the art of living well. But the Swiss quality of life extends beyond these tangible aspects. It's in the air they breathe, free from pollution. It's in the food they eat, locally sourced and carefully prepared. It's in the quiet satisfaction of a job well done, the joy of a leisurely Sunday hike, the warmth of a community festival. In Switzerland, a good life isn't just about wealth, but about well-being and happiness. It's about a commitment to quality in all aspects of life. And this commitment, my friends, is what makes Switzerland one of the most perfect countries on the planet. In Switzerland, a good life isn't just about wealth, but about well-being and happiness. Perfection isn't a destination, but a journey. And Switzerland seems to be on the right path. Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey so far, on the path that Switzerland has been carving towards perfection. We've seen the stunning landscapes, the snow-capped peaks, and the serene lakes that make this country a visual masterpiece. Nature here is not just respected, but celebrated and preserved. It's a place where the whispers of the wind and the songs of the birds are as much a part of the symphony of life as the hum of city life. We've delved into the Swiss political system a unique model built on consensus, where every voice matters. It's a society where power is shared, decisions are made collectively, and the common good is always the ultimate goal. It's democracy in its purest form, a testament to the belief that a country is as strong as the unity of its people. And who can forget the Swiss commitment to quality? Be it their world-renowned watches, their mouth-watering chocolates, or their efficient public transportation, the Swiss have mastered the art of precision, reliability, and excellence. Their dedication to quality transcends into their way of life, creating an environment that is clean, safe, 
and efficient. This journey through Switzerland has shown us a country that strives for perfection in every aspect, but what makes it truly special is its balance. It's a place where tradition and innovation coexist, where nature and urban development find harmony, and where the pursuit of perfection never compromises the joy of living. So is Switzerland the most perfect country on the planet? Well, that's for you to decide. But one thing is clear, it's a place where perfection isn't just an ideal, but a way of life. And perhaps that's the true essence of perfection, not a flawless state, but a constant pursuit of betterment, a continuous journey towards the best version of ourselves.